Hello guys We are about to do one more mission uh, It's This mission Charles Dickens Memories 50 Berkeley Square We're gonna win a cane sword At least we hope <laughs> We hope too we have another mission here, but this time we are going to do this one because this one is the nearest. So let's do it. Nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. Is it time for another of the Ghost Club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Follow me. <laughs> another the ghost's mission. Barclay Square. Four stories high and branded, Beware all those who enter. There have been many strange tales of this dreadful domicile. The earliest report of a haunting was said to be the specter of a small girl who was murdered by a servant. She could be seen at the attic windows weeping and wringing her little hands in an agony of despair. Another legend claims the attic is haunted by the spirit of a young woman who purportedly threw herself from the top floor windows to escape her abusive uncle. Her screaming ghost has reportedly been sighted hanging from the window ledge. This residence was briefly owned by a Mr. James Jasper, a choir master and an opium addict. His nephew Edward was betrothed to one of Mr. Jasper's pupils, the fair and delicate Rose. However, Edward disappeared under mysterious circumstances, followed by Jasper himself. Perhaps grief sent him back to the soothing arms of his narcotic mistress. <laughs> okay. Let's investigate. Though investigate. Some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells, and slamming shutters. The piano. Although eerie, this phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic. His only connection to the rest of the world, a tiny hole in the door. A young man who was reduced to madness by this extreme isolation. The legends all seem to focus on one room in particular. Hmm. We have here a money box. Or a money chest. One more clue. Nothing more. <laughs> My word. Perhaps, perhaps I shall wait here while you investigate the source of that laughter, which is not at all unsettling. Let's inspect again the piano. <laughs> Let's get one of the children. This one. Hmm. 
He runs really fast. <laughs> Why were you at that house? What's it to you? Yeah. Out with it. Right, all right. We were there for the treasure. We found a key to the secret passage. What secret passage? Yeah, number 50's got a secret passage. Here, take it. Just leave me be. A secret passage. <laughs> it starts to be... to get intriguing. Number 50, here we are. I've found a lock, but I haven't located the key. It's here. Let's open it. Where is it? This side? Yes, it is. Secret door. Whoa! <laughs> Get more clues. Huh. One clue here. So this is how it works. Impressive. For Rosa came near to equaling mine. It should have been enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Forgive. Ah. <laughs> All right. Let's speak to Dickens again. Until now, the ghost missions are always done by human. <laughs> Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in Barclay Square, just a wretched soul driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me. <laughs> All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.